Here is lesson 29 for flute. We will play numbers 69 and 70. You should have already looked at the top of your page, and you should know what I'm about to talk about, and that is a dotted half note and 3-4 time signature. Dotted half note. It shows you the breakdown. It's a half plus a dot. That's what makes a dotted half note. It's a half note. The dot is equal to a quarter note. Why is it equal to a quarter note? Because a dot, and here's the important part, a dot adds half the original value. So the original value is a half note, right? Because if you take dot away, it's a half note, okay? So that's two beats. That's your half note. If you take half of that, that's one beat, right? So the dot is half the original value. So the half note plus the dot makes it three beats, okay? So dotted half notes are three beats or three foot taps, okay? Next is your 3-4 time signature. This is even easier than 4-4, four, because four. in 4-4, four, four, you have to count to four every measure, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. In 3-4, three, you only have to count to three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? So that's how 3-4 works. It's actually easier for us. All right, let's play number 69. Here we go. And one, ready. <laughs> Did you get the repeat? If you did, good! It means that you have gotten used to looking through your music and finding those kinds of symbols. Okay? If you did miss the repeat, you've got to start looking through your music and finding that. Okay? The professional musicians, or the good musicians, they will find that stuff before they play a piece of music. They will not be thrown off by it because they're ready for it. They've looked through and they know what to look for. Okay? As we are turning to number 70, let me tell you about our code phrase. Our code phrase is concert pitch. You've heard a lot of talk about this during class. Concert pitch is the sound that comes out of your instrument. For flutes, trombones, percussion, well, pitch percussion, it's very easy because concert pitch, that is the note you play. If we play, if we play our B flat, we're going to hear a B flat. For other instruments, it's not that case. If a clarinet plays B flat, that actually sounds like an A flat for us. Okay, that's why we have concert pitch. Instead of me going around the room saying, okay, flutes play a B flat, clarinets play a C, horns play an F, saxophones play a G, you know, instead of going through all of that every single time, I have to say, band, concert B flat. And they all know what to play. Makes things so much easier and so much faster. Okay, so your code phrase is concert pitch. Now, let's play number 70. Here we go. I hope you've uh, gotten through your dynamics. You know, if you read at the top of that page, it says that forte is loud with good tone. And piano is soft with good tone. Okay? Everything in music can have with good tone added to the definition. Here we go. 71. Ready. <laughs> Did you notice where I breathed? Okay, I did not breathe on the breath marks. I spaced because that, that's what the breath mark will be telling us. We'll cover that later in class. But I only breathed on that quarter note. Can you make it those six measures to that first quarter rest? Sorry, not quarter note, quarter rest. Can you make it to that first quarter rest without breathing? If you can, congratulations. You've been doing these breathing, you've been doing my breathing exercises. You have been practicing correctly, you've been working on a small aperture, and you have progressed. You, you're becoming more advanced. Okay? That is your goal. Six measures in one breath. Okay? That was lesson 29. Thanks for joining me.